Hello everybody, my name is Shul Skills, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a pretty simple tutorial. A lot of people have asked me over time how I design thumbnails. Now, this isn't always in the comment section. This is when I'm helping people start YouTube channels or just answering general questions about my experience in the last 10 years on YouTube. And one of the things that I get asked a lot is how do I get my personal self in a lot of the thumbnails without any of the other background of the image that I took to get that thumbnail. And so, quite simply, I'm just going to answer that for you today. Uh, I'm going to open up Photoshop here, and we're going to open up a photo I've been playing with, um, and essentially get started from there. Actually, it just showed up right here, so we're just going to click it. This is a thumbnail that I took for a reaction video that I did to um, my old TV show that I was a part of, so if you guys want to go check that video out, it is in the description. Um, but, all being said, there's a lot in this image that isn't just me. So the idea is I want to keep myself, but get rid of everything else. And Photoshop actually has a really simple tool for this. It's called the object aware tool or object selection tool rather. And we're going to could not completely request one layer to be selected. We already selected it. Okay. Come on. There we go. Make sure your layer is selected and then go ahead and click whatever you want your subject to be. Now we have a really good highlight of you know our person our subject you also have the option to come up here and hit select subject as you can see here i have a little bit of my hair that's missing uh in this little cutout so i want to go ahead and hit select subject and that's going to add a little bit more of my hair a little bit more of my skin from my arm and just a couple more details that i didn't grab before because it's isolating me as a person rather than isolating kind of similar attributes which is what the uh, object selection tool does you're going to find that on your toolbar on the left over here by the way and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to hit select and mask up here at the top toolbar and then you're going to hit invert in the bottom right here and what that's going to do is that it's going to essentially select everything that isn't our selection we're going to hit okay and then we're going to hit the delete key and just get rid of it there and we are good to go. We have our selectable person. Now, the big thing to remember when creating thumbnails is obviously like I can't just have my floating body here. That kind of looks kind of weird, which is why a lot of YouTubers kind of default to the corner for a lot of things. So just make sure that when you're, I mean, you have a lot of manipulation that you could do. You could do this. You could tilt yourself this way. You could uh, reframe yourself so that you're like coming from the top or whatever any 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 sort of idea but it becomes a more malleable picture the more opportunity you give yourself in the actual thumbnail creation to um you know get get exactly what you want the thumbnail to tell and so that's that's the big thing to remember is thumbnails are a huge part of youtube and a huge part of the clickability of your video and so remembering that when developing whatever face you want to make for your thumbnail or whatever you want to include in your thumbnail is super important and should be thought about before you actually get into Photoshop. This was obviously a image that I took during the reaction. And so I, you know, got, got upset that I was very, very, very cringe. And obviously I wanted to showcase that as a reason for people to watch the video. So I made myself look cringe already, which isn't very difficult for me. And I developed this image and then removed all of the other parts of it now again you can look in the details here and you can see that it's not the cleanest cut but at the end of the day no nobody's gonna know so don't don't worry too much about that just know that you can add a bunch of different things to make this your own i'm going to showcase the uh finished thumbnail now just so you guys kind of get an idea of what you can do by adding yourself and reactions that you make into thumbnails and more clickable titles so this ended up being the actual thumbnail that i used for the video reacting to my um, old nerd cave news episodes uh, i put this show ruined red letters instead of like bigger caps just because i didn't have that much space to manipulate my career and then i added the reaction face and i added a snapshot of the video itself as i'm reacting to it so i could have like a line of sight as you can see my kind of keeping line of sight here that was the one issue i had with the kind of direction i took the image in i had to kind of adjust myself and open myself up for that and then obviously as high res of a photo you can take the better 
So making sure that you have all of the, um, like whether it's with your phone or whether it's with an actual DSLR or mirrorless camera, just making sure you have the highest quality available to get the cleanest cut out of Photoshop and then the ability to, um, you know, develop a thumbnail like this. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial about how I actually build my thumbnails, let me know in the comment section down below and I will make sure to make one. I actually made one a while ago, but I'm not very proud of that one. Those were my old thumbnail styles and I'm actually more proud of the current thumbnails that I have now. So if you guys want to see a more up-to-date thumbnail tutorial, please let me know in the comment section down below. But I really hope that this object selection tool allows you to add your reactions to your thumbnails to make them more personable and more clickable for your YouTube content. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord and all the other links to all the other stuff like merch and donations I have down below. Check them out, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.